Welcome to video 8.2c, similar polygons. So just following up on the last video, here's the theorem. If two polygons are similar, then the ratio of perimeter equals the ratio of the corresponding sides. So just cleaning up from the previous video. All right, here's two new examples. Example three, uh, I've got triangle JHK, similar to triangle uh, POM, and I've been given this information, and I want to find X and Y. So these uh, drawings were not provided. I'm a visual person. I strongly suggest you make these drawings. And when you make them, make sure that the sides are corresponding. So if H is 90, make sure that O is 90. So that's how I know how to draw them uh, correctly. So I'm gonna write in what I've got. So 90 and 90, J is 40. If J is 40, then P is 40. Um, M is X plus five. Uh, which means this is also x plus 5. Um, o is 1 half y. All right, so if this is 40, then this is 50, because the angles have to sum 180. So if this is 50, then this is also 50. So I got an equation right there. So step one, set up the equation. Step two, solve the equation. Step three, answer the gosh darn question. So x plus 5 equals 50. x equals 45. They also wanted to find y. Uh, they said O is 1 half y. So 1 half y equals 90. Multiply both by 2. So y equals 180. So just make sure that you uh, have the correct correspondences for that problem. All right, example four. We've got triangle bat is uh, similar to triangle dot. Find x. Okay, so what I'm always looking for when I've got similar triangles is, uh, or polygons, do I have a certain scale factor or ratio that I know? So, oh, I've got a 12 there, and I've got a 9 there. If those are corresponding sides in the triangles, I've got my reference right there. So let's see if BT, first and last, and DT, first and last, those are corresponding sides, okay? And then, as I mentioned before, I like to be consistent. I could say either left stuff over right stuff, or I could say big over small. I'll just go big over small. To me, that's an easy way of looking at things. So I'll say big over small. This is part of the big guy. 12 over nine, let's reduce that. Divide by three. 4 over 3. So now I've got a known ratio between corresponding sides, and I can use that for others. I'm looking for x. Well, x is part of this big side. So again, I'll go big over small equals this big side. Hopefully you guys are okay. x plus 15. So uh, at last two letters would correspond to OT, last two letters, over 15. Oh, and by the way, that ratio equals four over three. Now it's just a matter of cross multiplying and uh, distributing properly. All right, so I'll cross multiply. Three times X plus 15 equals four times 15. Uh, if you want, you can divide each side by three. Divide by three, divide by three. 15 divided by three is five, five by four is 20. So x plus 15 equals 20. Subtract five, I'm sorry, 15. And x equals five, which is what we were asked to find. So there you have it, a few more examples dealing with similar polygons.